Hello everyone, welcome to RGB Tech. If you've ever struggled with editing, converting, or managing PDF files, then today's video is just for you. I'm excited to introduce you to Minitool PDF Editor, a powerful tool that makes working with PDFs super easy. Whether it's merging documents, compressing files, or converting PDFs to other formats, Minitool's got you covered. Let's dive in, all right? Now simply click on free download. Install the setup file. Click on install now. Start now. After everything is done, you'll see this main interface. Here we have some popular tools like you can edit PDF, covert PDF to Word, PDF to Image, merge PDF, split PDF, compress PDF, and batch process. On below here, it displays recent files and starred documents. You can create new PDF from here, or you can open existing PDF file. And here there are some options. You can create new PDF from other files, you can even export PDF into different file types. As mentioned, all right, simply I'll open any PDF document. Or you can drag on drop your document to here to open. And this opens up my PDF. It's going to need a little bit of work. Upon top home tab. Here, we have hand option to drag or move the document. Select option to select things on screen. Zoom option. Create document. Edit all option to edit things on document. Here you can edit text. Set font size or you can set the alignment and you can do more. You can insert text on PDF. You can replace the words. Let's say if I want to replace the text RGB, replace with another name. And here you can see the text gets replaced. You can white out on PDF like you can mark on text, draw lines or whatsoever, add image on PDF. There's a crop option to crop PDF. And here there is a link option. You can add or edit links on PDF. Let's say here I want to add a link of a website. So paste it here. Or you can even link any file document. Now, okay, so here the link gets attached to PDF. If I click on it, it will directly redirect to website. Page setup, which can change the display and layout of the document. Split page. You can be able to divide PDF into parts. And here we have OCR option. It means optical character recognition. It can recognize the text data on PDF so that you can edit or modify some changes. All right, and there we go. The text data got recognized. Background option. You can add or update background of the PDF. Extract table of contents and compress document size as well, which will reduce the size of PDF document. So these are some of the basic functions. Now let's go to view. There is a theme option to change PDF theme. Snapshot option, you can make highlight some things over here. Slideshow we all know, document rulers. And here there is a document reader, it means a text to speech document reader. Where it can read entire document. It can support multiple languages. Quick translation, you can translate PDF into other language. Simply select language and convert based on you want. Going to the next one, annotate. Here there is a highlight option to highlight some things on PDF. Highlight area, you can add text box to annotate PDF. Some of these options are usual. You can add lines, add shapes on PDF to highlight content on PDF. I'll add arrows over here, all right. You can annotate with pencil. Notes option. You can add some important notes or highlight some key points of PDF. You can give any message regarding the PDF. Add stamps as well. Like here, I'll add a stamp as accepted, which is considered as signed. You can add more stamps as you want based on the status of the document. You can add a message to it as well. Or you can even add your own custom stamp image. Stickers. You can add them on PDF. Attachment, here you can attach the any type of file on PDF. Here I'll add the image file. You can manage stamps functionality, status of the annotation, based on the PDF behavior too. You can add checkboxes, all right. There is an edit option, same as I mentioned in the very beginning. Now to convert, here you can convert PDF to Word to Excel. 
to PPT PDF to image, or you can the current PDF document file into other type of document. And there are some others like image to PDF, office to PDF, and a lot more you can do on pages. You can able to manage each page of PDF document from here itself. Here you can make some changes. Now going to protect encryption. You can encrypt the file. Just here, simply I'll set password for to open document. You can also set a separate permission password for to modify edit PDF, set restrictions, apply some changes. So if I reopen the PDF, all right, so it will ask to enter the password. Now, if you want to re-edit this PDF, it will ask to enter permission password so that again, it gets decrypted. You can also set batch encryption for multiple PDF documents. Signature option to add signature on PDF. You can draw the sign or you can type from here. Simply drag and add the sign to the PDF. You can also add watermark on PDF. Simply add a custom watermark name and apply. Flatten to merge all interactive layers into the current layer. And there you have it, folks. Mini tool. PDF editor is truly a versatile tool that takes the hassle out of working with PDFs. From editing and converting to organizing and securing your documents, it does it all with ease. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone who deals with PDFs regularly, this tool is definitely worth a try. If you want to check it out, I've left a link in the description below. Also, if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to us for more useful content. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.